Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You are watching on a great night because it is. Because life is beautiful. Don't do that. Uh, we do have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Matt Fahey, who's a producer for the real TV show, Deadliest Catch. Yeah. Whoa. We also have the music of Nate Frederick. There it is. And equally important, we have a great title sponsor. Their name is the Moxie Cinema. They're Springfield's premier independent movie theater. Did a tagline something like that. Anyway, through a generous donation from Andrew Baird and Stephanie Stenger Montgomery, they are our nonprofit title sponsor of the night. We love them so much, we made a commercial about them. Check it out. Where are you? Yeah. yeah. Just for the record, that is my wife. If you're married, you can make out in the theater. Or just kind of like kiss in the air and then rub head and necks together like we were doing. <laughs> so as not to be gross. Oh, oh my gosh, everyone, look over here. It's my neighbor and friend, Ambivalance. Ambivalance! <laughs> yeah! So he's not only my neighbor and friend, he's also an, a, an opinion columnist for the show. It's, it's his job to make, make opinions. You, you got you, that right. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ambivalance. So uh, let's start with an easy one. Um, let's talk about the market. Do you think we got a bear market, a uh, bull market? What do you think? Well, on one hand, uh, it was kind of bullish right now, uh, but on the other, it is kind of berry too. So, oh. <laughs> it goes both ways, really. It could be either way. Yeah. Yeah. It Ambivalence. Is <laughs> it's, just, it's so stupid. Okay. Okay. Here's a controversial thing right now. Uh, fracking, the process of getting natural gas out of the, out of the ground. Uh, what do you think about it, Ambivalence? Well, I think it's a good to have a domestic, clean uh, energy source so close to home, you know. But on the other hand, uh, you know, the methane gas and the lawns and everything, it kind of takes up some time and it makes it hard to clean up, you know, and everything. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it really could, could go either way, really. To be honest with you, I could go either way. I could go either way. <laughs> Ambivalence! <laughs> I don't care if you guys are laughing. Uh, all right, let's end on an easy one. Um, let's say uh, Cardinals or Royals? Well, Cardinals. There it is. Ambivalence, there he is. <laughs> Jeez. It's a pun. I believe on the second one he said about fracking, you know, with the lawns. <laughs> he, that's why we hired him, because he thinks about things that we don't think about. Lawn care and fracking. <laughs> Let's move on to things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. These are things I've noticed, things I've observed. You, maybe you guys can relate to some of these. Uh, here we go. I've noticed that I went to the world's laziest farmer's market the other day. All they sold were seeds. <laughs> I've noticed that hot dogs look like long 
Hot dogs look like long, thin man fingers, but taste nothing like them. <laughs> it's no fun when you taste something hard in your hot dog, like a bone. <laughs> like a finger, like a finger bone, anyway. I've noticed that any public bathroom without a soundtrack or ambient noise should be a human rights violation. <laughs> I like to point out ones that are done by our female writer. <laughs> I've noticed that the people who post their phone numbers on Facebook are also the ones who receive the fewest calls. <laughs> I've noticed that it's actually a good thing Kanye and Kim named their girl Northwest, because that's probably the closest she'll get to direction in her life. <laughs> that's our zinger one. And finally, I've noticed, I'd like to tell ladies, if a makeup company advertises that they can make your eyelashes 4D, they're calling you stupid. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Hey. Uh, you know, one of the things that I love is love. Um, I have been married to my wife now for seven years. And, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> As you know, once you get married, all you want to do is hook your friends up. And, uh, and so one of the things that just breaks my heart is when people have missed those connections, if you will. So Michelle, my wife now, and forever, my sh I meant to say, so now Michelle, my wife and I, will read to you really, really real misconnections from Craigslist in Springfield. Here we go. All right, here we go. You were in Mudhouse when I was the other day. I cannot stop thinking about you. You have gorgeous blonde hair. I'm assuming you're an MSU student since you had a book bag with you. Please hit me up. I'm very rare in many, many ways. <laughs> you delivered pizza to my house tonight and were really cute and had a nice smile. You were average height and weight with black hair and dark eyes, a red pizza in shirt and khaki pants. My roommate answered the door, but I saw you. Craigslist. <laughs> Misconnections. Old hippie chick at KFC at Kansas and Battlefield. <laughs> you was wearing a pretty dress I commented on. You and your friend had an appointment with prosthetics next door. <laughs> Walmart, ramen noodle aisle. We were talking about prison pizza and stuff. Anyway, hit me back. Craigslist. Misconnection. Prison pizza. <laughs> you are tall, blonde, and you were wearing black. You were in the Waynesville price cutter Friday evening on August 16th, and you were looking for a specific size of bread. I am probably too old for you, but you were so beautiful that I pretended to read the label on my bread just to be near you for a little while until I could think of something clever to say. I never did come up with the perfect line. <laughs> Sexy firefighter at Dillon's. I walked in the price cutter at the East Battlefield location. You were at the Starbucks counter. I walked by and our eyes locked for just a brief moment. After my purchase, I noticed you were still at the Starbucks counter and our eyes met again. 
And then again, in the parking lot, you were wearing a black button-down shirt with trendy jeans and shoes. Your hair reminded me of Polly D from Jersey Shore. <laughs> Craig's, Craig's list, Miss Connect shirt. You was at Bolivar Walmart today in the deli. <laughs> Had an awesome tat on your right arm, and your boy was standing in the cart giving you a massage. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped in a wedding reception on C Street Saturday. I came up to you at the bar. You took my picture. I made you dance. Then the bride kicked you out. <laughs> Craigslist. Misconnection. We talked online about a year ago. You're in your 60s and have dentures. Thanks. O'Reilly boy. I came in the other day. You were checking me out. I love your facial hair with your big long ears. Craigslist misconnections. Woo! We're going to head to commercial break, everybody. We'll be back with Matt Fahey from Deadly Sketch. Give one. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have a guest coming up, but before that, we have a guest sponsor. Hoo ah! Our guest sponsor tonight is the Skinny Improv. Normally I do a tagline or something, but uh, they hadn't come up with one yet. They're improvisers. <laughs> oh yeah, it's We Make Junk Up. I perform there, I know that. Skinny Improv. <laughs> Skinny Improv, We Make Junk Up. <laughs> Our guest tonight is a producer and camera, camera operator for The Deadliest Catch. Give it up for Mr. Matt Fahey. Matt! <laughs> Springfield, yes, you're awesome. Is that your proof? Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, pretend like I know what I'm doing with one of these things. <laughs> By the way, um, Matt not only flew in just for this show, uh, he also helped like clean things and stain things. I, I hung the window right there. Actually, he right did. There. Yes. And that. Uh huh. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for coming. Well, you know, I'm a I'm a big fan of the show. I mean, I'm trying to lose weight, but I I'm a fan, a big one. I'm hoping right. to be okay. a medium-sized yeah. fan of the show one of these days. But... Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> but I, I should uh, say, like our our connection. Um, yeah. We can't talk about it too much because it's not a thing that's happening, but for sure. But we worked together on a project this summer. We did. And um, a reality show, which uh, is taking over. It's already taken over, actually. It's taking over everywhere. Yeah, that's why I've come here. I I, I want to move into a different genre of television. You know. Like, yeah, you like comedy. I do. I love it. And it, uh, it makes you laugh. That's what I love about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the idea, right? Yeah. Right. So, uh, but what I found is interesting about you is you don't have years and years of experience. You were just a uh, river guide, right? Well, I was, and I did have my own video business for a while, but okay. I just kind of, you know, it's not necessarily what you know, it's who you know, and I, mm -hmm. I kind of got a, a fast track onto uh, reality TV, Deadliest Catch, and, uh, and of course, you know, it's kind of like getting tossed into the lion's den, you know, it's like you got to learn pretty quick. And I did, there was a quick learning curve and it was miserable, but I'm a better person with 
a uh, better, better bank account because of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, I, I was a river guide for like 20 years in Grand Canyon and other places, so like I lived in my car for like a decade. I mean, <laughs> technically I was homeless, you know? There's actually a joke, it's a, what do you call a river guide without a girlfriend, homeless. So that was <laughs> me for a long time. Yeah, so uh, Deadliest Catch, where does it, where does it shoot? Uh, the Bering Sea is where we shoot everything. Kind of in between um, Alaska, Russia, and the Aleutian Islands. Everything okay. right there is the Bering Sea, and uh, that has to, that's not like going and working on a sitcom. That's like you're living oh, those yeah. treacherous conditions. Yeah, it's it's really the you know the only, as far as I know the only real reality show where you know we're living with the people, we're using the same toilets, we're yelling at each other. It's mm -hmm. love, it's hate, we cry. It's uh, it really is. Kind of, I mean, it's a miserable job, but there's big payoff, you know? Um, now, but it is, since you are out there living on it, have you ever had any, like, close calls or where you've had to jump in or anything, like, get in front of the camera? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do, uh, actually, a bus behind the scenes every year. We, we call it the BTS. And uh, last year, we had this kid, Chris, on The Wizard, who... He started having seizures, and it was apparent right away that no one really knew anything about first aid, and I'd been doing it for 20 years as a river guide, so right away I basically handed my camera to this guy, Gary Soper, and I'm like, I'd already got enough footage of this guy seizing on the ground. I'm like, how much more footage of that do I need? So I just started... <laughs> I had, only so much I had a plenty of B-roll of him what is almost it? dying, so I... So I, I Can I started, just interrupt? What's yeah. the seizing limit? Is it 30 seconds? Like a minute? You know, I, the time, everything, like I couldn't even tell you. I, literally from the time he started seizing till he was on a Coast Guard helicopter, I swear it was like 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It was, it, at the most, it was like maybe 35, maybe 45, not even 45. Yeah. It happened so quick. But I, it's one of those things, you know, it's like time you just lose your perspective on time in a situation like that. Right. And uh, anyways. Speaking he, of losing your perspective on time, we're done. We are seven minutes? Man. That was, it was fast, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I want to go longer, but yeah. unfortunately we can't. That's all right. Because we have to pay the bills. The I clocks. know. I understand. I, I, I mentioned that to somebody. I was like, well, I'm Irish. You're going to have to cut this interview up because I ramble. <laughs> But well, thanks for having me, Thanks man. for coming. Yeah. Matt Fahey will be back with Nate Frederick. Tonight's musical guest is brought to you by the Mud House. We've come to the end of the show, everybody, but that's okay, because that's where the music is. Our musical guest tonight has this CD, My Son. <laughs> I don't know if, anyway, he's a great musician. Nate Frederick.
But you take a shot and sometimes you miss So get ready, my friends Cause it loves a wild ride I should have kept those words to myself Seems pouring out my heart has been no hell Cause you shut me down no more beating around the bush of the feelings I feel for you. But Lord knows all the times I've spent wasted on those who just came. Sometimes love not so wonder raw seed will burn you all up inside But you take a shot and sometimes you miss so you bet in my friends Cause it loves a wild ride Nay Frederick, everybody. That's all we have time for. Just so you know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to the nonprofit, The Moxie. Stick around for the next show. After this, there's probably a show, right? It's a station. Clap. Here we go.